I'm Stephanie Tower. Never miss the Bitcoin Beat. This is CoinGeek Pulse. A global anti-money laundering watchdog has released an updated guidance on digital assets and its service providers. The Financial Action Task Force, or FATF, updates its guidance on the risk-based approach to virtual assets, or VAs, and virtual asset service providers, or VASPs. The revised guidance in six main areas comes following a 12-month review of the initial release. This includes clarity on the definitions of VAs and VASPs, and how the FATF standards apply to various business models. The updated guidance, though not legislative, aims to maintain a level playing field for VASPs, as well as minimizing the opportunity for regulatory arbitrage between sectors and countries. Meanwhile, in the U.S., Coinbase was fined 6.5 million U.S. dollars. The U.S. Commodities Futures Trading Commission, or CFTC, announced that Coinbase had agreed to settle charges over alleged inaccurate reporting and was trading. According to the CFTC, from January 2015 to September 2018, Coinbase recklessly delivered false, misleading, or inaccurate reports concerning transactions in digital assets, including BTC on its GTAX platform, which was later rebranded to Coinbase Pro. The exchange firm agreed to pay millions of US dollars in penalty and not admit fault. The cryptocurrency exchange has also pushed their direct listing until April. US SEC Commissioner Hester Peirce talks digital asset regulation and innovation in the latest episodes of Blockchain Policy Matters. Bitcoin Association founding president Jimmy Wynn caught up with the SEC Commissioner to discuss the current U.S. regulatory landscape. Peirce explains, instead of tightening regulatory approach, regulation can help encourage innovation and growth. She also took note of not ruling out positive things coming out of the private sector. Peirce went on to suggest the U.S. SEC needs to be giving clear guidance to the industry now, rather than in retrospect. I think we're we're strongest when when we are the place where where people love to come and innovate. I want innovation to happen in other parts of the world too, but but I think um, the United States really needs to keep its edge and needs to be the go-to place. And if we don't have a regulatory structure that facilitates that, um, we're going to see people go elsewhere. And here's some good news for aspiring developers. Bitcoin Association has announced the launch of the Introduction to Bitcoin Development course at Bitcoin SV Academy. Introduction to Bitcoin Development is designed to equip application developers with the skills, tools, and techniques required to build applications on the Bitcoin SV network. The course covers Bitcoin as a data protocol, including reading, writing, and advanced functionalities with the Bitcoin ledger, payment protocols, token protocols, and smart contracts. The course is available free of charge and can be accessed at BitcoinSV.academy. And that is CoinGeek Calls. I'm Stephanie Tower. See you next week. Hi, it's Jimmy Wynn, founding president of Bitcoin Association. I'm excited to announce that the next CoinGeek conference will be held in Zurich, Switzerland. Join us when CoinGeek will again broadcast live to the world, bringing you exciting new developments in the Bitcoin SV ecosystem. Registration is open now and stay tuned for more details about CoinGeek Zurich.